Welcome everybody to more Northgard here on AP Games. We're continuing trying out all the different uh, clans here in Northgard. So let's go ahead and get into it. So we're going to be playing on hard again. And I've decided we're going to go ahead and play as the Slidrug Tani. So in my last game as the Goat Clan, the Boar Clan beat us. Uh, not, not my best moment. Again, probably because I'm a little rusty. Also because I didn't plan out my victory condition and work towards that early on. So, I decided that since they beat us last time, we're going to play as them. If you can't beat them, join them, right? So, Clan of the Boar, Recluse, Forgotten by the other clans, recently discovered. Basically, they get their menders are a little bit better. They provide lore. Uh, you can get additional population and from each tile and uh, no penalties or no happiness penalties for non-upgraded houses. So, basically, the Boar Clan is a clan that wants to spread out rather than uh, building up very much the opposite of what you had for the uh for the boar sorry the goat clan goat clan you want to stay compact you want to upgrade your your tiles you want to build you know and upgrade your buildings all that sort of stuff uh whereas the boar clan you want to spread out and kind of uh invest in going a little bit more wide all right come on let's go ahead and get our scout camp up and running Let's also go ahead and get our wood cutting lodge going. And well, we'll see we'll see about a house here in just a minute. You two. That was weird. They like blocked each other from becoming scouts. Alright, so we'll get do the double scout at the start, like I tend to do. And I will do my best to try and uh explain what it is that I'm doing here throughout the entirety of the game. Alright, so we'll get a new villager here pretty quick. I like doing double scouts so we can start planning out our expansions and uh, getting a lay of the land going. So it looks like we've got one wolf, three sheep. Wow, that's pretty good actually. It looks like we've got a fish area right here. Alright, scout, come on. Let's be a little faster. Alright, so we've got a farm plot here. That'll come in handy. Looks like we've also got the ability to come here, here. So it's not looking like we have a great defensive position here at the start, which is kind of bad. Sheep, this will have fish in it, which will be good for winter. Oh wow, that's a food tile and a half right there. There's our wood tile as well. Okay, you go right there. You, I want you discovering this. So let's go ahead and colonize this amazing food tile. We are going to build ourselves. First, we want the. First is a fisherman's hut. Then the hunter's lodge. Well, get up there and start doing that. Let's go ahead and. Oh, wow. We're low on food. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, just, just give it a minute, okay? We'll have another villager here in just a minute. Get somebody back on uh, fishing, and looks like we've got. Uh, this probably continues up here, potentially. There might be a cliff, actually. That would be really nice if we had this area that was all to ourselves. Let's have you go ahead and fish. Let's have you go ahead and fish as well. Come on, cliff. Dang it. Okay. Well, we do kind of have this area to ourselves. The problem is that we've got the possibility of attack here in a couple different spaces. Uh, let's go ahead and... Yeah. Come over here. Looks like we've got a wolf den here. Uh, this will be nice for wood once we get out there. Sheep will be nice as well. So I might just kind of push over here. Take this area. Looks like we've got... More wolves. But. Alright. Don't have any lore stuff at the moment. Also, Red Clan is. You can see him right here on the minimap, is right over here. They've already got this plot. But we've got wood, we've got a good food tile, we've got some open space here for building. Let's get you to build this Hunter's Lodge. Good. 
All right. So we've done our scouting. For the most part. Ah, yes. This is excellent. This is actually a, a nice little cutoff area for us. Okay. Um. Ooh. These look like cliffs up here, too. There might be another exit over here. You get in there. Um. Okay. So we're going to need to build a mender's hut. At some point. We're also on a dock here. So we don't, we've got a lot of wolves, don't really have a lot in the way of, alright, we need houses too. Okay, let's build a house, go ahead and start building, so we can expand. Then, I think that once this scout is done scouting here, we'll bring him back and have him start working on probably wood. got ourselves our general plan for the general plan for expansion at the moment could colonize here um you know what was attack here we build if we colonize this area first actually let's do that so we're gonna colonize we're going to take this area because we want the food and then we can build a defense tower here and then any attacks from this and from this will come right in this middle area. Uh, this is nice. Thor's Wrath. Give us plus attack. Could be handy. Um, it's looking like this is the only real way through. We'll all make friends with the giants here. The Jotun. Or the Jotun. However you say it. Pretty soon. So, yeah. We'll take this. That'll get us food. That'll get us stone. We'll set up a defense tower here, so if any attacks that come in from either of these ways will be defended, and then we can get grab this tile afterwards. So, next up, we need a training camp. We're going, growing pretty well. Let's go ahead and use our first feast here. Get ourselves some more growth, get ourselves some more lore as well. Bartering. Constructions cost less. Non upgraded buildings get plus 10%. Environment hostility by 30%. Kind of weird. I don't remember that one. Alright. There have definitely been some changes to the Boar Clan since I last played as well. Environment hostility. Does that mean that? Attacks come 30% slower from these other areas. I'm assuming that's what it means. Get out. Come on. Come on. You gotta be kidding me. Alright. Gonna go for sharp axes. Get us that wood cutting production up. Get in here and take out that, that wolf. We'll colonize this before winter. Build that defense tower. There we go. Build it. Our scout is injured. Which is not good. We have too many wounded now. However, we did find the magma flow. So that's the, um... This is where we can reforge Odin's sword. Odin's sword or Odin's spear? That was Thor. Odin's sword. To achieve it. Okay, so you'll come back. After you're done scouting there. Looks like, again, we've got some good cliff coverage around here. Which is nice. back. Destroy the uh, scout camp. And we want to build a mender's hut. 
Well, let's see if we... Let's make sure that we're okay on wood before we spend our wood for the Mender's Hut. But I feel like we've got a good stable base to, come, to start off with. We've got food from fish, food from hunters. We're going to have food from a farm pretty soon. Come on back. Then you can come on. Okay, so we're down on gold. So that tells me we should actually... Uh, being down on gold is not great. Yeah, let's build that dock. I know being down on happiness isn't great either, but... The only other thing to do would be to suicide our... Actually, you know what? Let's see if he can take him. I don't think he can. But if we can sacrifice a couple of our wounded villagers and then up our happiness... Might be alright. Same thing, we'll set up another defense tower here. I know we can't grow because we're unhappy. So that tower will take care of them. Screw it, let's do it. Alright, so there we go. We are now happy again. Two wolves attacking. That's not good. Come over here and you are just going to do lore for us. Start that raid. Get us a little bit more lore. Come over and repair this. Okay. Colonize this for 80. Get those sheep. Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and colonize this first. We might as well. There's this open space here. We can build ourselves another woodcutter's lodge. Heavily wounded warrior. Uh, can he take this wolf? Probably not. But he'll probably have a go at it anyways. Um, Alright, so next up is our next woodcutter's lodge. You can build up there. Wow, he held on. Good man. All right, get ourselves a little bit more food. Colonize this area. Then we've got a bunch of sheep. Reduce our uh, firewood needs by a little bit, which would be handy. So we'll, we will be all set on wood. So let's get that. Okay, colonize this. Then we need a defense tower. 60, okay. Okay. So, park one sheep here. One sheep there. And we'll bring the second one over this way. Lore. Environment hostility. Colonization. I think we'll be good on food. Uh... Let's do environment hostility. 30% less attacks sound good to me. Um, so a defense tower here. Go ahead and build it. <clears throat> so we can take out this area next. Get this. And then we'll... And if we can hold... If we can hold... So grab these three areas here. This is a nice defensive position currently. 
this is a nice area as well, so we'll grab this one next so that we have one less area to be threatened from. We, let's go ahead and so we'll build our uh, farm here next. Rallying. All right. Probably our next biggest issues are going to be gold and happiness. So we can plug a uh, brewery down here. Come on up and build us those fields. Transfer some of our woodsmen over there. Let's stop the raid. Let's get our second guy on here so that we can get a little bit more gold going. Our raid. Okay. So food, wood, more food, a good stable base to, to produce, produce from. We'll have iron here. We should get some iron from here as well. If we can hold this, we could potentially go for the uh, the victory here would be pretty neat. I've actually never done the magma victory or whatever. This would be a useful top first. So it's probably going to be taking these tiles and then holding holding these ones as defense our main defense points. And this ooh, red's popping up right here. Okay, that's not good. Fields is complete. You get on there. You get on there. Get you to build a silo. And then the last building, we'll build our mender's hut here. So another mender's hut here, and then we can build another house. Uh, we'll want to develop this area when we can so that we can mine the stone. Although upgrading is not a huge deal for the... Upgrading isn't a huge deal, so maybe we use the stone to trade away. Just a thought. Okay. Happiness. Happiness and gold, like I suspected. Alright, so let's get a trading post up next. Uh, marketplace next, actually. No, trading post. Trading post. Marketplace and scout camp. No, we'll do the we'll do the scout camp here. So we'll do another scout camp here because we need to discover the, the Jotun here in order for us to uh, trade with them. We can organize a feast. Sounds good to me. Take that for extra production. Give us a boost on resources, including lore. Check the mender gives plus five protection in Mender's Hut territory. Uh, let's go with bartering. I think that this bottom line is the really important one for the uh, the Boar Clan. Oh. Dang it! <laughs> uh, bartering, it is. Oh, do we get a? No. Okay. Um, gold. Give me gold, sir. All Star Warrior. Not great, but we'll get him back. Alright, time for a Mender's Hut. Here. Build that Mender's Hut. Let's start healing up our people and going for our lore. We can start getting some lore going as well. Um, so I think that Wisdom is probably our best chance. We'll have two, we'll have three, eventually we'll upgrade this to have three sailors. So three sailors from that doing lore. We can grab this tile up here potentially to get lore from there. And then we'll also have some menders producing lore. Uh, yeah, so menders also count. Start healing up, buddy. And then, brewery. Build that brewery. So 
we'll start healing people up. We'll start getting them happy with the uh, with the brewery as well. And then it's time for us to take some military units once we have the population to sustain it and take these guys. Take this territory right here. We'll get some stone. Let's also get that scout camp like I was talking about right here. All right. So I feel like this is going pretty well, and I think that wisdom is probably our best bet. We'll have a nice... We'll go for wisdom with the potential for going for the magma flow, but we've got blue here and red here pressing on our, our doorstep. So that might not be viable. We will see. Villagers take 125 days. Goodness gracious. Um... So I think we're good on wood for... We've got good wood production right now. So we're going to bring you over. Alright. Silos currently protect 300. Start making people happy. You start making people happy. And there we go. Every 30 days. That's what I'm... That's what I like to see. Alright, so Red Clan has gotten to 200. Another clan has gotten to 200. So we're a little bit behind, but we're setting ourselves up for success, hopefully. That is the plan. Alright, we got a wounded sailor. Alright. Time to focus on... Healing and lore. Healing lore happiness. Should have enough food and wood to get us through the winter. Not too concerned about it. Yeah, we'll be alright. Having some more gold from our sailors will be handy. Alright, so next is military units and expansion. So we'll get someone to build our uh, scout camp here real quick. So we can scout these guys and start trading with them. And then military expansion. So actually, we might I might consider getting here first, just so that we have the possibility of getting uh, Thor's Wrath. Yeah, we're going to do that, actually. Well, that's annoying. Build a scout camp. We also need iron. Pretty badly. If we want to get a war chief. Alright, we got another lore coming up pretty soon. Increases sailor resource production by 30%. Construction cost minus 50% wood to build. shipbuilding actually I mean we're we're pretty we're sitting pretty good on wood so I'm not too concerned about reducing wood costs um, handiwork non upgraded buildings get plus 10% production that's gonna be nice so again kind of incentivizing us to go wide rather than going for lots of stone lots of upgrades that sort of thing however we will need to upgrade at some point I think maybe not Maybe not. Maybe we just spend all that stone. Okay. Uh, you're good, you're good. Don't need another scout. Merchants were okay on. Our food is a little suspect. So we'll save you until winter is over. Alright. Now we're getting... Mender stuff. Okay, so yeah, we're going for a wisdom victory. Wisdom victory it is. <clears throat> Alright, 
So now we have somebody to trade with. Can't scout. Okay. Alright. Scout, come on back. Military time. You? Military time. So, two axemen should be able to grab this, no problem. So, we'll grab this real quick. Grab this, colonize, build another tower for defense against red. And then we have the potential for getting Thor's Wrath right here. And then once we have... Oh, man. The Draugr have started attacking. Alright. That is worrying as well. Darn it, we got sick people. Alright. Build that trade route. Never mind. They want food. We don't have a lot of food to give them. Uh, okay. Food seems to be our limiting factor. Surprisingly. I thought that food was something that we'd be pretty good on. But it appears not. So, there's another food source here. But we can't colonize it because we don't have enough food. Uh, someone else built a lighthouse. Okay. 